Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Anyway, oh, I hope everybody had a good, great Mother's Day. I wanted to address one thing. I just feel like, cause somebody came to me and was talking to me about it. Hold on, baby. She, what she said to me was, she feel like Mother's Day is so special, which I feel too, that the way that we get treated on Mother's Day is how we should get treated every day. I mean, I can't speak for everybody else, but I get treated like that every day. And I know every relationship is going to have its ups and downs, but, you know, I was telling her that she has to acknowledge that they're fathers. And if you want to be treated like that every day, you have to treat your men like that every day. But, yeah, on to the next thing. Um, Y'all. When I say I had the scariest scare of my life last night, it was horrible. Like, I cried. I was so scared. I prayed twice. I was so scared. So, last night, anyway, it wasn't even last night. It was like, I want to say, five something in the morning. My fiance woke me up to do, you know, the grown up thing or whatever. But, he woke me up and we did it or whatever and after I had my daughter I got uh when she came out I got the IUD put right in or whatever so last night or this morning or whatever I couldn't even finish I don't know what he did he went too deep you know or it shifted or I don't know but I was scared. I had the pain was so bad it went from my vagina yeah. to my my chest, and it was so bad I had to go sit in the tub for two hours. Hi, baby. Hi. And um, she keep on stepping on my hair and pulling my hair. She just don't have no cares. But it was hurting so bad that I wanted to go to the hospital, like. I was crying last night. I was so scared because I didn't know. And I know before I got up, they was telling me about, uh, like, the stuff that could happen during intercourse or any time that you're doing something. Like, I just felt like it went too far up. And when I usually bathe myself, I put a finger up in there to clean it or whatever all the time. And if you don't do that, that's crazy. But just water, though. But when I was putting my finger up in there feeling around, I couldn't feel it. So I was like, you know what, babe? I need to go to the emergency because I don't feel it. And, you know, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, when we do it again, I get pregnant because I ain't trying to have no more kids right now or whatever. So he came in. He said all oh, poor tink tink or whatever when he came in the bathroom when I was in there. And he like, so you want to go to the emergency? Like, all right, I got you. So I'm like, bad. So after I went back and laid down, went to sleep. I woke up, felt the round in there again, and I finally felt it. And I'm not having any more pains anymore. But when I say that was so scary, y'all, I was so scared. Like, I ain't never had surgery day in my life. Like, besides getting um, wisdom teeth taken out. But other than that, that shit was terrifying. Like, yeah, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, mommy. Say hi, Junior. Say hi, Junior. Say hi, Junior. They, they gotta follow me everywhere, but anyway, I'm gonna turn my hair back on this side. I wonder how much degrees it is. The past couple of days out here has been like a hundred and some degrees, but anyway, y'all ain't gonna believe. My kitchen is dirty for the first time. Like, look at this. Look at this, y'all. I'm finna get this kitchen together. And um, my living room is a little junky. I'm finna get ready and go and wash clothes. Y'all, don't judge me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six fucking bags of clothes. And it's not even all of it. I still gotta go get blankets and covers and stuff that gotta get washed. Sad. It's so sad. I'm so cute. Don't worry about my edges. They're a little messed up. I need to go get some edge control. That's really the only thing that's been, um, 
that works for my hair since I've been like like all natural for three years, almost three years or longer. I don't know. It has been a couple years, but since I haven't put, I cut all my hair off. I was bald. Since I haven't put anything in my hair, no heat or nothing, my edges just droop, frizz right up if it don't have no edge control on it. But I'm finna get this going. I gotta go get edge control because my daughter has been natural. Y'all know she's the little kid since so she came out the cooch. Only thing that works for her hair is edge control. Everything make her hair curly. So, yeah. Yeah, baby. What? Hi, baby. <laughs> You're so funny. Come here, catch the kisses. And kiss. And kiss. Can I have a kiss? Mm. I tell you, you can't put stuff in your mouth. Okay? Don't, okay, don't go in there. Okay? No. I'm, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get your butt. I don't taste you. I don't want to taste you. I don't know who my son think he is. He think he is the daddy or something. Like, who you think you is? Who do you think you is? Boy, go. You ain't nobody daddy. You ain't nobody daddy. <laughs> Wanna say hi, Ju? Say hey. Say hey, Juju. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna finish doing this vlog because y'all just... Y'all just messed me up, interrupted me. It's not really a vlog. I'm just talking, telling what we're going to do today. Do y'all want to go to the park or do y'all want to go swimming today? What y'all think we should do today? What you want to do? I want to go to the park. You want to go to the park? I think the slide is still going to be too hot. Like, it's going to be burning up. So, you still want to go to the park or get in the pool? Go to the park. You sure? We got to go wash clothes first and go to Walmart. What? We did that all y'all night. We did well last night. Uh, no, we didn't. We put the clothes in the bag. <laughs> no. Okay, y'all. I'm finna get these guys ready so we can go. But comment. Put a comment down in the comments and let me know how y'all Mother's Day was. And let me know how y'all feel about what I first said in the beginning of this video about um what my friend asked me about <clears throat> mothers being treated special every day like we do on Mother's Day. Just let me know. Make sure y'all subscribe, please. I appreciate everybody who's been commenting and subscribing. 